Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. So in today's video, I'll be discussing about Amazon Q Developer. So basically the code whisper is now Amazon Q Developer that will help you throughout your software development lifecycle, as well as it is an AI powered assistance that will help you to complete the code, give you the suggestions, give you the skeleton basically of the codes and all. And along with that, it will give you the answers to your questions, whatever you're asking. So it is like, uh, it will be like a chatbot that will give you assistance in writing or completing the code or it will, whatever queries you have, it will give you the whole thing. As well as it will also help you to maintain your CI CD pipelines. It will help you to build your code, plan your code, and also set up your release pipelines accordingly and deploy your code as well as various testing tips and all cases and all use cases will help you to set up all those things. So it is now a, altogether a complete package that will help you to uh, accomplish all this task. So I will just show you a demo about it, how we can utilize this and how we can set up and how it is like uh, how it works and how to share with the developers in the team. So as I mentioned to you, like on April 30, 2024, so it is generally available to everyone. So this Amazon Q developer is a generative AI powered assistance. So it will help you throughout your SDLC and unique game changing capability it is having the time being consumed. It also helps you to integration your data, build your pipelines using natural language. So we can have a conversational coding as well as inline coding generated in this IDE. We can like integrate with our IDE in order to get all things. If you remember a long time back, I have shown you a video about uh, Code Whisper as well as how to run a code catalyst that will scan your code for any security uh, breaches and all, and it will give you suggestions. So all those things are clubbed together now under one platform under Amazon Q Developer. So any new user, they can, they cannot use the code whisper. Like I think there is a deadline of uh, May, 2024. That is the end of code whisper. Now it is being, now code whisper will be like Amazon Q developer itself. Along with additional capabilities, it will be providing. So you can see over here. So these are the few facts about it. You can just, have a look how we can train the model and all. So this is the Amazon Q developer. You can see here, receive guidance and all. So you can see the icon over here. You can ask some question, why cannot, why can't I SSH to an EC2 instance? So it will be giving you troubleshooting tips and all. So this is uh, just a chatbot over here. You can ask the questions related to it. But what I'm going to show you is the integration with the IDE that is Amazon Q developer. So basically when you go to this over here services and you can choose over here, Amazon Q and you can see over here, I've already set up and you can see experience Amazon Q with a limited free trial up to 30th of June, 2024. So once you set up this one, uh, you will require some users that will be a part of your identity. So, and then you can subscribe to this Amazon Q developer pro. So according to your requirements, you can choose it. I have chosen this one. So it includes access to Amazon Q developer, which can transform the way developers and IT professionals build your code, optimize and operate the applications. So we will be having Amazon Q in the IDE. There, his options are missing over here, as well as we can use a console, as well as we can use the code catalyst all together. So we will not be charged until 1st of July. So we can have a free hands-on until 30th of June, 2024. So once you subscribe to this, you can see over here, my subscriptions over here. So you can see the user. If you remember from my last video, I have this user to which I have assigned. Now, if you go to the developer pro, so these are the settings over here. You can just click and learn more about it. Uh, getting started. I just want to show you something. If I go to the subscribe over here. Uh, 
let me you can go to the subscribe i'm already subscribed over here i think i have to go to the settings yes uh, so we have the assigned user groups and all if you want to assign it now if i go over here in the settings now you can see subscription view settings we can enable it and disable it plus we can go to the edit from here we can enable and disable and one more thing i want to show you i think it was in the console let me check so this is basically going to the code wish for itself and you can see it's now changed so this is what the most interesting part about it after subscribing it to the subscription so you will get this url start url so you need to copy this one i will just open a private window over here new private window and then you can paste it over here so basically it's giving a permission to the user that is being added so if you remember i have added one user and it will tell you to log in here it is this is a user that identity user i have added let me i hope i remember the password let's see uh oh some mistake let me try okay that's successful so you can see over here that this is the, your default profile that access is being given to you and you can just click on it so this is your ai code generator so you can see the announcement also over here amazon code whisper is now amazon q developer so this is the basically the portal for the users developers that they will be using it but now the most important thing how we are going to integrate with our ide so this is our ide i'm using visual studio code you can just go to the extensions over here make sure you're having this extension installed amazon q so once this one you have set it up you will get an icon over here and you can see it is telling me to re-authenticate now a few more things that you will get up over here you can see generate code suggestions with examples generate code suggestions as you type and then you have over here manually using alt plus c as well as generate unit test cases also that you can have it so these are the 15 programming languages that are being supported so i'll just show you example with java and all make it sure if you're using visual studio code uh, if you are using java java extensions are installed if you're using c-sharp c-sharp extensions are being installed then only you can work on it so I'll click on this re-authenticate. You can see a small icon is also coming over here in the bottom. So let's see. Okay, proceed to the browser. Open. Okay, once you click confirm and continue, it will give you access to your IDE. Okay, I think that will be enough. Let's check over here. It's already processing. Okay, still in progress. Let's see, we need to wait for it. I'll just refresh it. So you can see I have to enter the username and password.
Okay, so you can click on allow access. You can see application and AWS accounts that are being linked. So and Amazon Q developer, click allow access. So Visual Studio Code want to access your data. So see the request has been approved. Now we will go to our Visual Studio Code over here. Now you can see a nice uh, chatbot is over here. You can see. Now you can get some example help and all. Now, even if you see over here, Amazon Q, if you want to, if you want to uh, pause auto suggestions, select customization, try inline suggestion examples, open code reference log, run project scans. So all these things are here. Connect with us on GitHub. You can do view documentation. So even if you want to sign out, like some other user is using the same machine, you can just sign out and that particular user will log in with his own credentials. So this is the benefit of using this. Now, uh, let's say this is my C sharp over here. Let's say if I want to like uh, Lint A, uh, let's say, or we can just uh, we'll type it over here, swap two numbers. So it is generating our answer. You can see it's giving you in Python. Uh, let's let's tell him like in C sharp. Okay. I think it's created on the top also. Okay, that's it. So this is these are two ways. What are the different ways you can choose? And it is also giving you the source from where it is picking it up. So geek for geeks, it is picking up. So a little bit, some interface issues will be there. The scroll and all, it's not working that much comfortably. So you can just, you can see insert. So if you keep your cursor over here, then insert, that's it. So this is how you can, uh, I think I have, this is a JS file. So I need to create a new file, then it will work, Control A. Now let me close this one. I will just create a new file. So let's say C sharp. Okay. So this is how it's gonna work. So you can see it is downloading the Razor telemetry package and all in order to complete the code and all. So those extensions are getting installed automatically. It is downloading the .NET runtime version also. Dr. Facebook 8. So as I told you, if you want to use with the C sharp, make it sure the extensions are pre-installed. If you want to use with Java, make it sure the Java extensions are pre-installed. Okay, similarly, this is just a basic example. Like if you want to like, you know, like uh, add. So you can see it is generating over here. Add numbers. Okay, let me close this one. This extensions, we need to make sure. Add numbers. So you can see over here, Amazon Q is generating. Similarly, if you don't want to, you can see it's giving you a suggestion, temp equal to A. So you can press the tab in order to complete. Something like that, you can see A is equal to B. So in order to swap two numbers, it's giving another way of writing the same code. So this is how you can utilize it. Similarly, like suppose not only this, if you want to like, let's say, um, deploy EC2 instance using Terraform. Let's see what, what we will get it over here. So you can also spin up your resources using this. It is generating your answer. Let's see. So it will give you the Terraform script by which you can spin up your EC2 instance. So you can see over here, as I have chosen the language, you know, C sharp. So it is giving you, oh, sorry, it is a Terraform script. So you can see provider, then resource, tags resource, whichever you want. So basically it's giving the skeleton and all. So it is giving you ingress and egress. IPs, you can define it. Here's what the Terraform could look like. It will give you all the details. 
if you want to have a key pair and all, it is very nice. So if you want to have the like whole infrastructure as a code, you can just utilize this easily. So it's quite handy. So you can give a try to it. Amazon Q developer. So you can see there's responsibility and all. So you can utilize this options, pause auto suggestions. It's currently running. It will give you the suggestions and all. So there is no more code whisper over here. Even if you go to the this option over here, I, I have this code catalyst, but I need to re-authenticate because this is with my root account, not with this user. So basically code catalyst, it will just um, go like have a quick review of your code and give you suggestions. Like if any security breaches are there, it will just give you suggestions how we can overcome that. So even you can see suggestion follow-up questions if you have some for the questions you can ask, how do I change instance type? So it will give you all the details over here. So I think this is like a really, really useful thing that developers can utilize it in order to uh, complete the code and all. Again, one thing like AI will never be like, uh, give you the whole uh, working code. It will just give you the structure. You need to understand it. You need to make changes according to your requirements. So, that's all uh, how to use this. You can just have a quick, you can go to the samples and all, you can see uh, this, uh, this Python code it is being generating over here. Place your cursor at the end of the line uh, on line five and press enter to generate the suggestions. Press tab, you can see it's Amazon Q is generating. So this is how you can. So you can press tab, that's it. Complete the code and press enter. You can see tabs. So it's quite handy. Then you can press enter. Again, it is generating some code. You need to give some time to generate. Okay, no more suggestions over here. This is how you can utilize it. I hope you like my video. So please do like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.